in the heartlands of America, under the wide Iowa sky. A time-honored tradition unfolds every four years, drawing the nation's gaze to its fields and towns. Here in Iowa, the rhythm of democracy beats not in the silence of a voting booth, but in the vibrant gatherings of neighbors, friends, and strangers in local caucus meetings. It's a dance of democracy, unique, engaging, and deeply personal, where Iowans come together to shape the future of their nation. In Iowa, the caucuses are not just political events, they are a testament to a participatory democracy. This year, the Republican Party is set to hold 1,657 caucus meetings across the state, turning local venues into hubs of political discourse and decision-making. These meetings, more than mere formalities, are where real people voice real concerns, where every hand raised in the support of a story, every ballot cast, a dream for a better tomorrow. For the Democrats, the journey this year is different. Following the challenges of 2020, the state's democratic process has shifted, moving away from the traditional caucus format to a mail-in voting system. This change, while significant, reflects the dynamic nature of democracy, adapting to meet the needs and realities of its people. Iowa's choice of caucuses over primaries isn't merely a quirk of history. It's a conscious decision to favor discussion over discretion, community over convenience. In a world that moves at a breakneck speed, these caucuses offer a rare space for reflection and connection. Yes, they demand time and presence, but they also offer something invaluable, a sense of belonging and a direct hand in the democratic process. The reason Iowa leads the nation in this electoral dance is steeped in tradition and practicality. It's a state that mirrors the diverse voice of America, from its bustling cities to its quiet cornfields. Iowa's first-in-the-nation status on the Republican side is a badge of honor, a responsibility its people take seriously, understanding the weight of their voices in the symphony of democracy. The history of Iowa caucuses is a journey through time, from the 1800s to the present, evolving and adapting, but always maintaining the essence of collective decision-making. Long before the glare of national media and the strategizing of modern campaigns, Iowa's political parties gathered in caucuses to chart their course. It was a simpler time where neighbors knew each other's names and political decisions were made in the warmth of local gatherings. In 1916, Iowa briefly experimented with a presidential primary. But just a year later, they returned to their beloved caucus system, a testament to their commitment and community engagement over mere convenience. The tumultuous year of 1968 marked a turning point for the Democratic Party, leading to significant changes in the presidential nomination process. Amidst a backdrop of national protest and a clamor of more inclusive and transparent processes, Iowa's complex caucus system came into the spotlight. Its intricate dance of precinct caucuses, county conventions, and state conventions positioned Iowa to lead the nation, and in 1972, Iowa held its first Democratic caucus setting a precedent that would shape the future of American politics. Iowa's caucuses are more than political events. They are gatherings of community and commitment. 
every two years as mandated by the state law, I ones come together to select delegates, engage in vibrant discussions and set the stage for the nation's political scene. It's a process that encapsulates the essence of democratic participation where every individual has the power to influence the direction of their party and by extension their nation. For the Republican Party in Iowa, the straw poll was once a herald of the caucus season, an early indicator of a candidate's appeal among the grassroots. Beginning in 1979, the straw poll was a summer spectacle, a blend of festivity and politics. However, only three of its winners ever went on to win the caucus in the following year. In a move reflecting the evolving nature of political campaigning, the straw poll was discontinued in 2015, closing a chapter in Iowa's rich political history. As the caucuses unfold this year, Iowa stands once again at the forefront of a pivotal moment in America's history. The decisions made in these gatherings, whether in person or through the mail, will echo beyond the state's borders, influencing the course of the nation. And when the last vote is counted, when the final caucus door closes, Iowa will pass the torch to the next state, leaving behind a legacy of engagement, passion, and a deep commitment to the democratic process. This is the spirit of Iowa, a beacon of participatory democracy shining bright in the heart of America.